The final race of day one will be the Rules Dallas Stakes for three year old fillies. It's a mile and a half, it's a handicap. Grand Forks, Desperation, Village, Gerard Highland, Thistle, Jim Murray, Lehu, Mossa, Dan Hughes, Mirror Image, Jim Murray, Aroons, Leon Van Rensburg, Trapanga City, Darren Thompson, and Sporting Route for Derek Hinton. A field of seven. Ribbles down for three year old fillies. The only difference in the SO version is asked a handicap. I think this is a group two. And away they go. And Aroons down this near side. Did have the early lead, but now it's going to be Grand Forks Desperation who's going to come through and take it up for Vinny Gerard. So Grand Forks Desperation then is the early leader. Jim Murray's Highland Thistle is pulling for its head and won't settle over on the far side. The two greys at the back sporting route in the pink for Derek Hinton and the blue of Lee Hu Mossa for Dan Hughes. And it's Grand Forks Desperation who's got the lead. And there's a good three lengths clear of Highland Thistle in the black and red second for Jim Murray. Then Trapanga City, Darren Thompson, the old Sheikh Mohammed Gullah's in third. In the second of Jim Murray's two, he's the only one who's got two in this. That's a mirror image on the outside in fourth. And he's actually a mirror image of the other one, isn't it? Then he comes Runes and Lehu Mossa, and finally Sporting Root at the back. So Vinnie Gerard in the lead, a good day today. Vinnie Gerard, him and James Shea have carved it up between them, but a shout out to Matt Cooper as well, who's had a winner and a second in a group two. And Paul Parsons has had his first Royal Ascot winner, so it's not been had it all their own way. The, the top boys and Josh and Leon, I don't think have been anywhere near a winner. But it's Grand Forks Desperation who's in the lead at the moment from Highland Thistle and Mirror Image. Then comes Rules, Trapanga City is after that. I think Darren Thompson picked one up earlier as well. Lehu Mossa is next, and then Sporting Root, who's just the back marker. It's Grand Forks Desperation. He's in the lead by a couple of lengths. From Highland Thistle and Mirror Image, then Runes. His next Jim Murray will be here tomorrow to do some commentating on the Ascot races. I thought I do believe it. Probably be at Carlisle as well. But it's Runes who's now retaken the lead from Grand Forks Desperation and Mirror Image, then tucked it on the inside Highland Thistle. Here come the two greys now, and for some reason Derek Hinton saw the jockey drove it straight into a blocked path. And what he did that for, Lee Hu Mosser on the outside took a more sensible route and is now into third place, but it's passing the two, and it's Grand Forks Desperation in the lead. Runes is in second, then comes Lee Hu Mosser, sporting route, then Highland Thistle and Mirror Image, Trapanga City's dropped out of it, they're down towards the final furlong, and Grand Forks Desperation is in the lead from Runes and Sporting Root and Grand Forks Desperation still leads with half a furlong to go but here comes Sporting Root and Runes Sporting Root into the front Sporting Runes is going on and Sporting Runes is going to take it from Runes in second hard and Thistle in mirror image Lee Mossa Grand Forks Desperation dropped away in the end and well I called out the jockey on Derek Hinton's horse for going the wrong way oh the steward's inquiry though oh but he's kept it uh, I think he's a very lucky chap, yeah, Harry Bentley, otherwise he might want to find himself feeling the wrath of Mr Hinton's tongue. But sporting route takes it despite a bit of a funny ride by the jockey. Oh, Derek Hinton, Runes is second for Leon Van Rensburg, Highland Thistle, Jim Murray third, Lee Hu Moss and Dan Hughes fourth, and Mirror Image, or oh, Jim Murray again was fifth. That's Royal Ascot day one in the books, the only day when it's all Royal Ascot. Tomorrow we've got some stuff from other places as well, Carlisle. Carl on, I think, and possibly somewhere else as well. But Jim will be back to help out tomorrow as well. So I'll see you again tomorrow.